today, guys. Welcome to match two and round one again for Asuka from Israel. He's going USA and an elite marksman squad up against Nat Nat on the Japanese team as an assault squad. And he is from UK. Number four seed Nat Nat did get upset in the first game. It doesn't seem like he's uh, playing to his strengths uh, quite yet, uh, Simus. It wasn't playing very aggressive. I'm really, I'm looking, really looking forward to these uh, a Rangers shootout though. Five star weapon skill, but wow, this swarm of Japan. Uh, Nat Nat's actually uh, spreading all the way out. Uh, he's actually perfect, going to the flanks. Perfect opening Nat Nat could could have done. There's no other better opening. If he went to the center, it would just got absolutely wiped with the range accuracy. But now he's avoiding them, using the numbers to the advantage. Eastern point, bit of a skirmish. Looks like it may go to the favor of the Japanese Type 100s. Definitely out shooting those M1 Garands at close range. Asuka fails to get a nice grenade off. So the side flags going to Nat Nat. Yes, sir. Uh, those rangers don't even uh, can't even shoot at the SMGs at the other end because they're ducking. So uh, yeah, good start from that, I think. Yeah, I agree. I, it's it's perfect start for Nat Nat. It's something he needs because uh, yeah, what we saw last game, he just got yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what he needs, is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great, great, great start, mate. Um, <laughs> you can potentially flank the center now once he gets the second score down to the center point uh, and use the side guys to just totally outnumber those rangers. And they're pretty spaced out now, and that's the problem with the elite marksmen. If you space them out too much, they're not that great when they're just on their own. Uh, for full assault squad coming from that now to the center. And on the... Other end, Eastern Point, we have a full regular squad from Asuka onto Ooh. the Eastern. Well, Asuka Ooh. may want to reinforce the middle here because now numbers are <laughs> just going to overwhelm these Rangers. Yeah, these Rangers are too close to fight the Assault Squad. As you can see, one of them has taken out... Yeah, it's been taken out. Another one will be taken out very soon. And the other three on the other end... Um, yeah, I don't think we'll have enough firepower to stop that full Assault Squad. The regular squad coming into the Eastern Point uh, doing okay now. They're just... Too, too much firepower, but they've lost quite a few guys trying to storm the Type 100s. So Suka will take that back in the center. The regular squad has been kind of worn down. There's only four guys left, and the Elite Marksmen seem to be kind of uh, peppering away. Haga. Yeah, one guy's in an awkward position, though. He's unfortunately in this map, and Deb, you get against these tall sandbags, they really can't shoot that well. Nice flank from that. Ooh. SMG coming in. Kills himself, though, with his own grenade. <laughs> <laughs> but he took out one though, and anytime you have an even trade like that, you're definitely winning when you're going against elites. Yeah, elite versus, versus SMG, SMGs. Definitely working the economy for Asuka. Sorry, not that. Hago going on a rampage without any line of sight, and this is probably the best way to use it. Just charge in. It's a regular squad, by the way, and Natnat knows this. This is a pretty smart charge, actually, because in the mod, regular squads don't have any SMGs, so thus no AT, AT grenades. Fantastic charge from Nat Nat. He knew that was just a regular. And he didn't need line of sight. So he's going in now with an assault squad to cap that flag. And an assault squad from uh, Suka going to the eastern. In the meanwhile, Nat Nat also secures the center point and a potential three cap. Yeah, it's one thing. It's really <laughs> dangerous playing, playing as USA. You have to always be aware that most of the time you have mostly just rifles on the field. Um, slash MGs. But... Uh, no AT grenades, you're really susceptible to uh, Hago rushes. So that AT gun came out, but it came out a little too late. Hago runs away, potentially a three cap here, and a uh, nice little uh, jump start by Nat Nat. Had the right idea, most definitely, Asuka, with that M3, just a bit late on that timer. Uh, M8 also from Asuka, interesting play. Lots of emplacements uh, coming in. But look at that uh, assault squad. Oh, this is a recruit squad, okay. It's, there's a lot though, all behind sandbags, and that's not going to be approachable with just infantry. And M8's yeah, going to take time. I really don't like that M8 buy right now. Not when you're getting three capped. That's just a no, that's a, that's, that's a no go right there. <laughs> Needed the 30 count squad. And yeah. the Hago potentially uh, could, is in danger to actually get shot by the AT gun though. Yep, here comes a shot. Potentially. He's got a shell change. Oh, it's tracked. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was thinking why well, they got a shot, a shot back. Uh, takes out the turret main gun, so that Hugo is down, but he's being repaired. Kamikaze's out from that, that I think. It's got them a hold, hold fire to just provide line of sight. Moving into the eastern. 
Uh, three cap is on right now, Strat. Three cap is death. This is just gonna take up so fast. 27, zero. Regular squad from Asuka struggling to move in. Nat Nat has very nice positionings. He, he really, you can really tell that he knows this, knows this map and he can play it very well. He's got these SMGs up on the hill and some on the flag. Just making it hard for Asuka to make any inroads. And reinforcing as well with another assault squad. Only a conscript squad to respond from Asuka moving in to the west. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't look like he can cap any flag. Yeah, that, that conscript's gonna struggle unless he gets down into uh, grenade range. Especially against these SMGs. It's one thing that's great about Japan on this map is the close quarters really, really uh, favors the uh, these Type 100 SMGs. Oh wow, what's going on there? Oh, what happened? I, I don't know. Hmm. So oh. I think you got a, uh, another regular. A uh, few ranges in the center still. Um, definitely would have thought you'll say would have been bet quite good on this map. It's just I suppose. And that, that was so good at avoiding the center, attacking the side flags. Man, it's 57 to 0. This is completely different to the other game. It really matters, I guess. The map maps make so much difference to how you play and what you should do. On this map, you definitely don't want to... Uh, fight Everything the... you're saying sounds good, Strat, but I crash, so I'm going to have to go with whatever you're saying. Ah, oh, you crashed. Okay, no worries. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's all me, I guess. I'll try to cast with my uh, cough. Haga moving back. M8 is trying to take a shot for some reason. It's just really not going to do too much. Wait, oh, Kamikaze on the M8. This is on DC. Bam! Kamikaze is just taking out the M8. That was hilarious. And a few more Kamikazes moving in in the back lines. And potentially that M3 is going to get taken out by another Kamikaze. This will be good to see. But Asuka has some reprieve, does cap the western point with the marines. He definitely needed that 30 cal squad earlier instead of the M8. But at least the marines are here for some shock and may be able to take back one flag at least. But a nice place grenade from Nat Nat may change it. Oh, lucky throwback from the AI. Another one. This one did. Oh, this one does hit its mark. Takes out four marines in one blow. It injures a lot. And this is an 80 grenade. Takes out. Oh, Jesus. One SMG guy takes out the entire marine squad with three grenades. Here comes the kamikaze on the M8. Oh, has done it. If we waited a bit longer, maybe one second. Oh, okay. Asuka quit after that. GG's. <laughs> Game two to net net.